Hi everybody. Okay, I'm back to blog today. I'm on my quote unquote lunch break. I have another client until about four today. I messed it up. How do you mess up time? I'm thinking I have a client at twelve, um, and I actually have a client at four today. Today is like a really slow day for me. I was up there at the spot for a while, but I'm back home because I only got three hours of sleep last night. Yesterday was a pretty productive, busy day, which I like. Those days um, got a lot done, worked, got little turtles, went to church. And actually, yesterday I had posted that I was going to pick my turtles up, which for those of you who do not know, my turtles are my children. Um, I had posted that I was going to pick them up from a camp and then I was heading to church. Well, one of my classmates from school actually uh, hit me up and sent me a Facebook message and she was like, you go to Potter's house? And I was like, yeah, I'm a member there. She's like, go to the Potter's house. She said, I go to the Potter's house. I've been there for nine years. And I was like, oh. And I actually got to see her after um, service yesterday, so it was really nice to reconnect and actually talk to her in person. And we have, our kids know each other. That's what's so weird. Go figure. Jacksonville is such a a big city, yet it's a small town. But um, we got to talk. We talked for about 15 minutes after church last night. So it was nice seeing you, Angie. Um, let's see, had to be up at 5 this morning, when I got home from church it was like 10 o'clock last night, and I decided I want to go ahead and cook a roast, I, well I took the roast out two days ago to thaw it out, because I thought I was going to cook it, but I really didn't want to cook it, I found something else, kids weren't here, so I went out to eat Monday, and then Tuesday I didn't cook, and then I was like, well... And then I bought lasagna to make. I went to make lasagna today. But I had to cook the roast because I took it out of the freezer and it had thawed out. So I cooked the roast last night. But it came out great. Awesome. Best roast I ever made. Perfect. And um, today I'm going to make lasagna. I'm going to make it today so that everything can just be like seep into it. Because I always like lasagna and spaghetti the next day. It's like the best thing ever it's like all the seasoning is like just got all together and said we're gonna make this thing good and then we eat it so i'm gonna make it today actually i'm gonna get started on it now not now but when i'm done with this i'll get started with it and put it in the oven while i'm on break and then by the time i head back to the salon it'll be done and it can chill out till tomorrow yay um, what else? Mm. My business is going well. I know I keep saying that, but I'm so blessed and so happy. I don't know what to do. Um, I do want to give a shout out to Miss V and Desi of Pillow Poets. Tonight, um, they'll be airing their last uh, show on Blog Talk uh, Radio. I guess I can put the, the link up here somewhere. But, um... I just absolutely adore those ladies. They are motivation to me, and they're always full of energy and inspiration. But I, I really am grateful and thankful for their friendship. The, and it's so weird. I love communicating with them, but I've never met them in person. We've done video chat before, and I've talked to um, Daisy on the phone. And it, it's just like it's just interesting how you can. Meet friends online or meet people online and have a communication or a bond with those people and not even have to touch them. But you touch their lives. So that's what they tell me anyway. And I, 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 I feel the same way about them as well. Um, I have other um, online friends that I have never met. I've been friends with forever. Like Tamil, we've been friends for like five years. I've never met him before. Go figure. But he's awesome. He's great, 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 great motivation. We talk on the phone and we talk online all the time. He's a great friend. Love his energy. Like I had a friend that it took seven years and we actually met each other. And cool dude. Cool, cool friend. 
And I have my girlfriend, uh, Monica, that's in New Jersey. I'm looking forward to meeting her soon because she's thinking about moving back down south. So maybe I'll hook up with her then. But we've been friends for about five years. And we talk on the phone, talk online. It's just crazy. Sometimes you just, people just can communicate like that. And then you have your people that, that's what, that's what like kind of is interesting to me. I wonder about some of the people that I communicate back and forth with because I have this YouTube channel and then um, I blog on different various sites. I get people communicating back and forth with me a lot. And I wonder, are these people the same people? Because you never know. You really never know. I mean, you you wonder if this is the same person that you, like, email or talk to online or whatever. It's, I mean, I guess it's a difference because some the people that I actually bond with and I talk to on a regular basis, I've actually, like, had video chat with them to where I could actually communicate back and forth with them and kind of get gain a, a, a interaction of how they are versus some of these people that just hide behind usernames. And I had, oh, my gosh. Uh, Y'all know I'm a little a scatterbrain, so you know I bounce from subject to subject, so don't even get mad. And don't be like, well, what was she talking about? Uh, if you know me, you know how I am. Anyway, I was I just thought about it. I had me a little internet stalker, another one. Oh, my God. Why this dude? Okay, and this is crazy. I call him an internet stalker, and the thing about it is I know him like in real life. I actually know this person. I have physically touched this person to where they know me. I had a conversation with this person before, blah, 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 blah. They know my phone number. I know this person. Well, they proceed. They decide they want to just send me messages online. First of all, who lives on a computer? Not me. I'm on the computer, but that doesn't mean that I'm on here living. Dude would email me. I am me and send me messages on Facebook and post crazy stuff to my Facebook pictures. And he, But he would never talk directly to me. My thing is this. If you can't call me and talk to me, I don't mind text messaging. I do not mind text messaging with my friends. Not people I don't know. Okay? So get that out your head. But I don't mind text messaging with my friends back and forth. Because I do have a few friends who don't like to talk on the phone. And I take that into consideration, Shan, uh, Simeon. But um, they don't, you know, they don't like to talk on the phone. So I'm okay with kind of text messaging. But I don't want to hold no whole conversation with a person on no freaking uh, text message. Or via email. Or via, I don't have time to do all that typing. That's why the heck I do uh, video blogs. Because I don't like to type. And they should understand that I don't like to type. Well, this person has proceeded to send me messages via any media that he could other than talking to me. My thing is this. If you can't make a phone call, either you're locked up. I don't know. They have day walkers here to where they on work release. They get out during the day. I don't know. You know, they function like everybody else to go to a job and stuff. Maybe that's what he do. Who knows? I don't. Or you, <laughs> or you got a woman that you live with or somebody to check your phone. Like, well, they, I, I don't know if to check your phone because you send the text messages like crazy. But you can't talk. I know you're not illiterate or dumb or you to the point to where you speech impaired. But I just thought that was crazy. And then they just, I said, you know what? Look, look, bro. Look, bro. Bro, man. Don't send me no more messages. If you can't talk to me, then you can't talk to me. At least, like, if I really need to talk to Shan, she'll pick up the dang on phone and she'll talk to me. I get at least 30 minutes to an hour a month. Supposed to. You need to do better on that, Shan. But, I mean, like, seriously, come on. Be real with it. But, um, I I don't think I was wrong for telling him to stop all communications. And that's what I did. I'm done for right now. So, you guys, 
Be good. And I guess I'll talk to you later. Adios.